What is this? Well, it's easily recognizable as regular old skeletal striated voluntary muscle for all the right reasons. First of all, you can see that the fibers are generally parallel to each other. You could see that, uh, oh, I hope you could see nuclei, but you could hope that the nuclei are generally oriented towards the periphery. Unfortunately, we don't see nuclei very good in the stain, but you can appreciate the fact that these fibers are very nicely parallel to each other. Let's find the individual fiber and see if we could find striations. And I hope we can, because if we can, I'm going to point them out to you, because really, there can't be anything but skeletal muscle. Um, I don't see too many good striations, however. But you know this is skeletal muscle. Maybe we'll find some better ones later. Uh, what kind of uh, hits your eye, though, now that you kind of know this is routine, boring skeletal muscle, is that there are areas like here and here and here and here and here and here which norm which do not look like they belong to a skeletal muscle at all they look like they're very dark or perhaps calcified they have that same staining and they look like they're very distinct and very oval and there are various sizes and slightly different shapes and uh, if the first thing that you think of when you look at this is that it really doesn't look like any other human type of tissue you've ever seen it's because you're right this is not human tissue this is the larva of the roundworm of trichinella spiralis the uh, parasite the roundworm parasite that you get from eating uh, inadequately cooked pork and even though this uh, organism has various uh, complex life cycle and various uh, forms within the body these are what you might find in skeletal muscle as a calcified oval cyst uh, within skeletal muscle. Let's look at a couple of more just to show you their variation. Oh, that's not one at all. That just happens to be a skeletal muscle fiber that for some reason is standing darker than everything else. We already saw that one. Here's another one, uh, looking very calcified and very unhuman, like nothing you would ever see before in a uh, human histology lab. Let's see if we could find some more, because we know there were some more. Uh, here's another one. Here's probably another one here. And notice they just look kind of hyalinized. They look like they're calcified uh, in the center or even towards the periphery sometimes. And uh, this is a classical insisted cyst of trichinosis with skeletal muscle. Thank you very much.